Oh, what a flick. So it's fair to say that Brazil are accustomed to producing some fine attacking talent and it seems as if Marcus Leonardo could be the latest on a long line of players to come through that Brazilian conveyor belt and into stardom. Today we're going to be checking out the Santos Ford and seeing what he's got to offer. He's already been linked to several massive clubs around Europe and this is going to be my first time watching him today. If you did go on to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and any other players that you'd like to see me reacting to on the channel, do get them in the comments down below. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this one and see just what the player has to offer. I always love going ahead and checking out South American players especially. And I mean, Santos has always been a club that absolutely fascinates me as well. The players who have come up and through that academy. And I've heard quite a few things about this guy, but I've never actually seen him play. So this will be a first reaction. Only 19 years old as well. And it will only be a matter of time, I'm sure, before someone comes in and snaps him up. Oh. Ah, oh. oh, cheeky finish. So at only 19 years old, he's already gone ahead and played over 100 professional matches for Santos. His record in the youth setup is absolutely outrageous. Look at that finish. Defenders closing him down, but that poke through. Link up plays there as well. So in just over 100 professional matches, he's already scored 27 goals around about that mark. And in the youth setup, even more than that. Great awareness of everyone else around him. <laughs> Very fluid with his whole playstyle, really takes everything in his stride and sort of adapts to the situation really well. Oh, and the close control and the finishing holds his run off brilliantly, then past a few defenders. And that poking finish again, but it takes everything in with his stride, doesn't he? Doesn't get knocked off balance by a defender either. Aerial abilities there. He does well to hang in the air for that as well. Got that poacher's instinct to be in the right place at the right time. Oh, what a flick. The link-up play has been really impressive so far. I think on a compilation, you know, you can, you know, get those finishes and those skills and then things like that. But once the link-up play comes across in a video like this, I'm always quite impressed. Again, takes things in his stride so well and sells a few plays with that. Oh, he's... Oh. You can tell he's got that showmanship about him as well, which I love. I love the cheeky dink as well, doesn't he? Yeah, close control, having that little bit of flair and that knack of being in the right place at the right time. Decent strength, holds his players off quite well, doesn't get knocked off the ball all too easily. Uh, there he could have easily gone down. Oh, <laughs> sells two people there. 
he's not afraid to drop in a little bit as well. A few of these clips of him, you know, picking the ball up within his own half and he's happy to go back to uh, defender in that situation. And in these wide areas, if he's got you isolated, he's going to mug you off, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> those back heel flakes. Oh, it's outright. It sells multiple defenders at once. His link up play is seriously impressive. I think that's what I've been most impressed with here. And then, yeah, I'll finish those for days. Nice, and the goalkeeper's near post. Ghosts in past the defender as well. Great position and knack to be in that right position at the right time. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not a, a massive watcher of the Brazilian league. I only see it in you know compilations and things like that. But players like this really excite me, and especially if a move to Europe does come across. He'll be a player that I'm massively watching out for. Oh. Receives the ball well under pressure and then just sells the defender. Oh. <laughs> Brazilian players just have that extra bit of flair, don't they? That no one else seems to possess, especially at such a young age as well. It's just ingrained into them. And they are so fun to watch. Quick little step overs. And a lot of the time it is, you know, just him up front as well. When he doesn't have those options and players to bounce it off, he can take you isolated one on one into a situation and stand you up and you can tell as well with this compilation as well and with a few of the clips that that rawness still is there with him and that is to be expected at only 19 but the composure at times the know-how and the cheekiness of those back heels I'm sure Santos fans absolutely love this guy. <laughs> he loves it, doesn't he? And it does make him somewhat unpredictable because it's not a case of, you know, he can take you either way in terms of either foot, but you don't know if he's, you know, what which way he's gonna go. He can that back heel so effective for him. Loves a cheeky free kick as well. Lucky with the deflection with that one. <laughs> oh, it's cheeky. When a player's doing that as a teenager, you can tell they've got something about them. But guys, there we have it. There was my reaction to Marcos Leonardo. Really excited to see what the future holds for him. Like I said, just 19 years old, and he is undoubtedly one of the upcoming prospects within Brazil. If you did go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, and any other players that you'd like to see me reacting to, particularly any youngsters, do get them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, though, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.